In previous videos, where I've demonstrated how to hack CCTV cameras or IP cameras, and I've used weak passwords, I always get complaints. No one in the real world is gonna use such bad passwords. Same thing happens when I demonstrate how to hack Wi-Fi passwords or other passwords, always for educational purposes only. But here is a real world example. The Louvre's video security password was reportedly Louvre. So this is from PC World. Oh dear. It may not have had anything to do with the jewel robbery, but audits of the Paris Museum security system have revealed glaring issues that go back many, many years. So according to a security investigation, the password for the video surveillance system again was Louvre, which as PC World says is basically one step above password. You are supposed to use safe and non-guessable passwords, but obviously in this case, like in many real world examples, that wasn't the case. Now this French newspaper reports that various audits of the museum security systems have revealed glaring and obvious issues. One such audit carried out in 2014 by the French National Cybersecurity Agency showed that indeed the password was Louvre. Subsequent audits found serious shortcomings in the museum's systems, notably including easy access to rooftops during periods of construction and security software that was more than two decades old. That's an eternity in IT systems. And in addition, these systems were not supported anymore by the developers of the software. Now from Cyber News, they also mentioned the fact that the password was Louvre, terrible password, but they also mentioned that the software provided by this company, Thales, was secured with a password of, guess what, Thales. Terrible that they were doing this in a museum with artworks and jewelry that are essentially invaluable, worth millions and millions of dollars. Very, very poor security. And to make matters worse, they discovered that the museum's office network used obsolete systems such as Windows 2000, which no longer guaranteed antivirus updates. And then in 2017, a security audit report stated that the threat of an attack with potentially dramatic consequences could no longer be ignored. This is what happened in 2025 as an example. Now it's unclear whether the passwords remained unchanged during the time of the heist and whether other security shortcomings were addressed. Now as a cybersecurity expert wrote on X, clients swear our systems are all updated only for me to find some forgotten box running an outdated OS because it powers a niche app they didn't want to update or couldn't update because the vendor dropped support or wouldn't too cheap to invest since it just works, he wrote. But what are your thoughts? What do you think about the use of these weak passwords? Have you encountered this in the real world or have you seen this done by family members or companies that you've worked for or done consulting for? What's been your experience of very poor passwords?